Help! Why doesn't my SUV play high bass? Okay. So I got this question from Jason, WW2000. Do you know about vehicle sizes and how sound waves cancel and reinforce? That would make for a good video. I got my first large SUV and I noticed whatever sub or box I put in the back, I get a boost of 45 hertz, but it always rolls off above that. I get no upper bass. 45 and down is great though. I've been trying to figure out if this is due to the volume of, of the interior or the length. Uh, great question, Jason. There are a lot of factors here. I'm going to talk about three. So I'm going to talk about three issues um, that, that caused this. There probably are some quarter wave um, things to take into account with the, the length of the interior. Uh, but that would basically affect resonance. I'm, I'm not going to get into that too much. There's a lot of quarter wave information out there. I might make a video on quarter wave in the future. But for now, I want to focus on why SUVs sometimes have a hard time playing um, higher bass. I've, I've heard people complain about the 50s, 50 hertz, and around that, and having issues with that. So, let's get into it. Number one, cabin gain. Okay, so for this, uh, I'm using a Sundown Audio ZV524 inch. I tried to get kind of kind of a, a slow slope down. This is in a, a closed box. I, I put it in a massive box, so it's going to act a little bit like Infinite Baffle. And it's got a very slow kind of roll off here. Now, what you have is something called cabin gain. Now, this, this software calls it transfer function. But essentially what happens is you get a boost in your base below your resonant frequency. Now my car is high. It's like 65 Hertz. Now watch this. Uh, hold on before I want, I want you to take a good look at this transfer function and see it kind of has a slow roll off. Then watch what happens. And I'm going to do a six DB at 65 Hertz. I'm going to enable that. We're going to scroll back down and look at that. So below 65 Hertz and around 65 Hertz, it just boom gets this boost, gets a bass boost right there. Now SUVs, they have a low resonance, Tahoe, Suburban, stuff like that. They're in the thirties. Uh, if you got a big box in the back, maybe as high as 40, I'm going to put 40 in here and we're just going to assume maybe at 40 Hertz. Uh, actually, I'm going to disable this real quick so you can see the transfer function. And then we're going to put 40 Hertz in so you can see what 40 Hertz looks like. Okay. Perfect. So this essentially is if you had your base out in the open, that's kind of what it would look like. But once we put it in a, in a car, we're going to do 40 Hertz at 6 dB. We're going to enable that. And you can see as it starts to go down, it gets a little boost. Now I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put this at 12 dB just so you can see really what uh, cabin gain can do. Although ultimately cabin gain for most vehicles, if you've got it reasonably deadened, it's probably going to be about 6 dB. Um, okay, so now you can see your bass in the higher frequencies drops off. And then once you hit that resonance frequency, boom, you get bass. So when he's saying below 45 hertz, you can see kind of what's going on here. He's getting that, that boost from uh, cabin gain. And so your highs naturally suffer because they're above the resonant fre frequency of the vehicle. Okay. So that's issue number one. Now, how can you solve that? You can make your, you can eat up more cabin space. The smaller you make that cabin, the more you shrink that cabin, the uh, higher the resonance frequency is going to be. Obviously that's not really a, a solution. You got to big suburban or Tahoe. Cause you know, maybe you need to haul family around or whatever, and you don't want to, you know, get rid of all the seats and put a huge box in. Um, so let's go on to number two. All right. So I'm going to draw real quick for you. I'm going to draw a sixth order box. So, okay. Perfect. Oh, okay. Um, I need to put a port in there. Give me a second. Okay. So here's your baffle right there and then your back port and then your subs sit right here on this center baffle. 
and then you've got a um, very small port right here and let me erase okay so there's your port okay so here's uh, a, a kind of a six order you've got your rear chamber or bottom chamber top chamber or front chamber so this is your lows this is your highs up here and um, if you notice this isn't too far off from uh, a suburban I mean think about it. a suburban you keep going and then maybe you slant down at the windshield uh, sorry this is terrible drawing and then let's throw some wheels on this <laughs> looks more like a bus uh, but you get the idea that realistically when you have just a ported box down here of this so if you just have a ported box in the back of suburban it's acting like a sixth order box okay so in a, in a way it's acting like a six order box now in the recent years let me go ahead and clear the drawing and i'm going to start over now in recent years we've we found that that shape of six order box the highs suffer the highs um get lost in the box they don't squeeze out very well so what you actually want to do with a six order of that design Do, 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 do. Okay, so you still have your, your front port, um, but your baffle slants up like this. And you've seen a lot probably if you've noticed cars and, and maybe you just thought it was for aesthetics that they, they did this. But this slant... Like they, I think they do a, like a four degree slant. This slant helps push the highs out of the box. Uh, when the baffle is just straight like this, those highs get stagnant and those, those highs are lost. They don't come out of the box very well. So when you're thinking about this with your SUV, what you might do is you know instead of your box just being flat you might just uh let me go ahead and draw it again doesn't have to be this extreme and then let's say it ports out the back uh you might just kind of put something under it right here to prop it up a touch so in the vehicle it's it's uh you're kind of breaking up the waves because otherwise everything is square. Everything is square in that vehicle and you're, you're really hitting like uh resonance frequency stuff wants to kind of bounce around at certain frequencies. And um, I think you're, you're losing the highs, maybe some there. Now it doesn't need to be, like I said, it's a, it, like a four degree slant. So it doesn't need to be up that high. Just try maybe lifting it up, um, you know, maybe five inches and then maybe 10 inches, put something, try it both and then see how the highs hit with that. Uh, so that's, that's number two. When we look at it like a six order, I think we can see the issue. Okay. Now we'll go on to the, the third, the third reason. Okay. So once again, I'm gonna draw an SU and get my drawing back. Okay. Draw an SUV. Once again, it looks like a bus. My apologies. <laughs> I should have practiced drawing this, drawing an SUV ahead of time. Uh, but once again, you notice everything is is square. Here's your ooh, your box. So everything is square. So like I said, it it likes certain frequencies. Um, my 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 juke is just ridiculously round it's like round down here and then it kind of slants up and then it kind of the windshield and the i mean it, the body shape on my juke is very round and it likes every frequency my juke anything above realistically upper 20s it just it really likes um versus the sub suburban or tahoe it's so square i think the squareness is is causing issues how do you solve that oh man that's a tough one um i think what you can do oops that's fine i accidentally exited out of what i was working on but i think what you might be able to do is maybe um 
maybe put a 45 in the back, leaning up. Uh, like I said, we already talked about maybe elevating your box so it's just ever so slightly tilted up. But you're you're basically trying to add some roundness or something to 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 the corners to kind of um, uh, give some sort of loading for the, the the base to bounce off of to maybe help with some of that that loss and highs. Anyways, those are the three things I could think of: is, is cabin gain, six order, and the fact that the body is just so square. Anyways, guys, love you, and uh, I hope that uh, you're having a great week. I'll catch you online next time. Cheers.